Small towns are usually regarded as quiet, generally safe places due to the simple and predictable nature of life in small communities. However, this is not always the case. Sometimes, massive events can shock small towns, and today's case is the perfect example of this. This is a very unique case for my channel too, since it's actually fairly modern. However, it's so strange I had to make an exception to the usual historical cases to cover it. This is the story of the mysterious fires that struck a tiny Sicilian village on two separate occasions a decade apart with absolutely no explanation. I'm the Lunar Librarian, and this is the case of the Caneto di Carogna fires. Caneto di Carogna is a small town located on the island of Sicily. The town's population is incredibly small, roughly 150 people, and life in Caneto di Carogna was quiet and generally uneventful. The town had no major events, no tourist destinations, and very little activity beyond the routines of its residents. This would change, however, on December 23, 2003. A local resident, Antonio Pezzino, was relaxing at his home and watching TV. Suddenly, without any warning, Pezzino's television exploded into a shower of sparks. Similar malfunctions occurred simultaneously throughout Pezzino's house, causing his fuse box kitchen appliances, air conditioner, and computer, as well as the aforementioned television, to explode spontaneously, showering the Pezzino household in sparks and electrical debris. The sparking electronics quickly set fire to the walls and furniture, and within a matter of hours, the entire house had burned to the ground. On February 9, 2004, two more houses burned down in the same way, in the neighborhood of Via Mare. Due to the mysterious fires, the 39 residents of Via Mare were evacuated and a formal investigation into the cause of the fires was started. In an effort to fight the spontaneous combustion, ENEL, Caneto di Coronia's electric company, completely cut power to the town. Despite this, the mysterious fires continued across the town. Between February 9th and early March, Caneto di Carogna experienced 92 fires. Despite the prolific nature of these fires, investigators were unable to determine what had caused houses across the town to ignite. Police even collaborated with the Italian National Research Institute, or the CNR, along with physicists from NASA, but no one was able to determine the cause of the fires. Furthermore, Firefighters and investigators reported unexplainable objects spontaneously catching fire, from compasses to electronic car locks. Even devices with a minuscule amount of electricity did not seem immune to spontaneous combustion. Eventually, the fires stopped on their own, and life in Caneto di Carogna returned to whatever normality was possible. In June of 2004, Via Mare residents who had been evacuated returned to their homes, and the town as a whole began to move on. Although police investigation continued for years following the fires, investigators were unable to determine the exact cause. Although police and the prosecutor in the case suspected arson, no evidence or suspects were ever uncovered, and on July 24, 2008, the case was declared inconclusive and officially closed. Although police still believed the fires were a case of arson, no charges were ever filed in connection to the 2003 and 4 fires, and the case quietly faded into the background as people resumed their lives. Unfortunately for them, the fires were not quite finished yet. In August of 2014, almost a decade after the original fires, Reports of appliances spontaneously combusting once again came in across Caneto di Carogna. This series of fires would prove much less prolific, however it would last much longer than the original fires a decade ago. Much like before, another investigation was opened into the new series of fires that had struck the town. 
Unlike the 2004 investigation, this new case would prove far more fruitful. Using improved security cameras which weren't available in 2004, the police were able to successfully build a case against the Caneto di Coronia arsonist. Over the course of this second spree, police obtained videographic evidence that the fires had indeed been started intentionally. Eventually, this allowed police to determine the culprit of the mystery fires. The unexplained combustions continued until the 5th of March, 2015, when Sicilian police arrested Giuseppe Pazzino on charges of arson and conspiracy to commit fraud. Giuseppe was the son of Antonio Pazzino, the first victim of the original 2003 fire, immediately making police suspicious regarding his involvement in the fires a decade ago. Furthermore, video evidence implicated Antonio directly in some of the 2014 and 15 fires. They theorized that the Pazinos had been setting the fires in order to classify them as an unexpected phenomenon and claim compensation money for the damage. With this, police felt confident that the cause of the mystery fires, which had eluded them for 10 entire years, had finally been solved. However, not everyone was convinced the Pazinos were to blame. Despite the existence of both video and phone records implicating Giuseppe and Antonio in the 2014 and 15 fires, some residents of Caneto di Coronia remain unconvinced that the Pazinos were responsible for the original fires. Firstly, investigation by seasoned arson investigators turned up no evidence of arson, and it still remains unknown how exactly the Pazinos started these fires. Remember, both NASA and the Italian CNR were unable to ascertain how these fires began. Additionally, no evidence implicating Giuseppe or Antonio was found regarding the original fires, and indeed the theory that the 2003 and 4 fires were arson remains itself unconfirmed. Furthermore, during the original fires, Francesco Veranando, the officer in charge of the investigation, reported that officers under his command had experienced unexplained electromagnetic activity, seen strange lights, and even encountered a downed helicopter which had experienced anomalous rotor damage inconsistent with most other kinds of malfunction or common damage. All of this has fueled rumors to this day that the Caneto di Coronia fires, at least the original ones, were caused by something supernatural. Explanations range from extraterrestrial visitors, to top-secret experimental government weapons testing, to more supernatural claims of demons, evil spirits, and malevolent ghosts responsible for the fires. Ultimately, whether the Canero de Coronia fires were in fact arson, or if they were caused by more supernatural means, it is nevertheless a fascinating story. I've been the Lunar Librarian, and if you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like? It really does help more people to see my videos, which definitely helps my channel grow. If this is the first video of mine you've seen, I usually do historical content focusing around true crime, unsolved mysteries, and unexplained events. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.